Watcher, welcome back to the channel. This is the Essential Handyman. This is going to be a very different video to what I normally do. I give you DIY tips, hacks around the house, etc. Unfortunately, we've all heard about the incident recently in the UK where the three ladies were killed by a uh, guy with a crossbow. Well, unfortunately, that was one of my neighbours. So when I was literally out in the garden recording a YouTube video the other day, it all kicked off and I was recording it just before seven o'clock and apparently she was killed around about that time. And then what happened was the police and the ambulance and the fire crews and everything screaming past. Uh, so I got some um, video evidence of that and other neighbors have sent me some video evidence type of stuff that's not been in the news yet. So I thought I'd give you a, a very different video on the comings and goings that you probably haven't seen in the news uh, and my take as a YouTuber on what happened when I sort of walked down a road speaking to people, um, got a little bit of insider information before it was released to the press. Now the first part of the video is just gonna be outtakes and clips from when I was recording my video in the garden of all the ambulances and the sirens, etc., going past them, my reaction to what was going on because obviously at that time, I didn't know what happened. So here are those clips. I'm using the uh, the feeder, Miracle Go feeder, which is probably the easiest way of doing it. Let's jet, and we've got flat. Now, for the purposes of the next. Should I put that in the bloopers or just carry on? No, I'll just carry on. That's a lot better. I live in the Bronx, wouldn't you? All the fire engines and sirens going off. Oh, that's police. Something's going on. Coppers everywhere, including the choppers. At this point, I decided enough's enough. Time to get down the road and see what's going on. So all happening down the road, and whole ambulances. The uh, armed police are here. Must have been 20 police cars. The air ambulance has gone across. Uh, apparently, someone shot someone. Three people have been shot with crossbows. I hope they're okay. You get a good video, mate. I was actually in the middle of recording a YouTube video when everything came across. Yeah, no, it's really good, yeah. yeah. Fire engines. Armed police. Covers everywhere. Fire engines, ambulances. Update on what's going on over there. It's about 20 police cars, two lots of armed police. There's an air ambulance, about four ambulances gone down there. It's called and get all off, armed police down there. Three people have been shot with a crossbow apparently. It's pretty bad. Now the next scene you're gonna see is taken from a ring doorbell and actually in Ashling Close. I've recorded this from the television, although it has been doing the rounds. So the police and the press are aware of this. It shows what looks like the murderer leaving the scene of the crime with a crossbow wrapped up in a blanket. But what the police haven't got yet, as far as I understand, or the press, is the next clip. And this has been sent to me. This has come from another neighbour that lives at the end of the alleyway, at the end of Ashton Close, taken from a phone or a ring doorbell, I'm not sure which shows the guy exiting the alleyway 
putting the object, which could be a crossbow underneath a blanket in his car, getting in his car and driving off. As yet, I'm pretty sure that this hasn't been, hadn't been shown to the police or the press. So um, this may be like a uh, an exclusive because as yet this has not been seen on the television. And obviously in situations such as these, the police are rightfully very tight-lipped and they don't tell their neighbours anything. However, within about an hour or so of um, it all kicking off, there was quite the picture built up by neighbours. One of my neighbours said that he'd heard that an ex had broken into someone's house. No details were uh, released at that time, but about 10 minutes later, another neighbour came up and he said he'd overheard the ambulances that were parked in the side and weren't allowed to get access to the house before the armed police had cleared it and declared it safe he'd overheard a policeman saying to them you've got to wait here there's been a crossbow attack three people have been attacked with a crossbow so within about an hour we'd start to form quite a good picture of what had gone on all right waking up the next morning pandemonium outside the window still loads of police um, no ambulances no fire crews but lots and lots of press it's been police helicopters. They must have been there for four or five hours. That could be press, I suppose. But it's a reassuring presence to think that the police are still there. The road's still cordoned off. Police everywhere down the side road still. God bless the victims. Now last night I went round and I double checked everything. All my doors and windows are double bolted. My secondary locks and bolts that I put on my property were on. Uh, and it's probably a video that I should be releasing soon, showing everybody, sharing those tips and tricks with people to make sure that you are kept safe and that idiots and scumbags like this guy with a crossbow don't get into your property. So this is the scene the next day, press everywhere. Still police. Press helicopter. Everyone's here. Sky. ITV. The sun. All very sad. Things have escalated. ITV are in the garden interviewing Fiona and Charlotte who know the victims. Neighbours who knew the family well, including Hannah Hunt, paid this tribute. Nicest, nicest girl. Yeah, she was really genuine. She's not kind of, she was just so genuine, so, so nice. That's yeah. the only words I could bring from her. A real beautiful soul, so really, really shocked. Hannah knows. Well, I rang her at 8.26 because I heard something had happened at that age. Fiona and Charlotte were one of the last people to see Hannah while she was alive. They had known the victims for over 10 years and frequently went to their house to get their nails done. They're still processing the loss to their community. And I saw her drive in, as I always do. And then, as I was at the rugby club, I was hearing alarms that something had gone on down that end of the road. So automatically, I think of Hannah because that side of the road is, is Hannah. So I actually called her from my phone, so I'm not going to message, I'm just going to call and see if she's okay. She didn't answer. Um, I always ask after her sister because she met her partner online. So I was like, oh, Kyle, who's the partner Kyle? Yeah, I never knew his name, I just knew it was her partner that she met and he was from Enfield. Okay, well, that's about all I can add. The rest of the information you can get from the news channels, the police reports, etc. That's just my little 
take on an insider's view, a YouTuber's view, a neighbor's view on what's been going on down the road. Um, pray they catch the guy, pray the family are okay. Uh, poor man, lost his wife and two daughters. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and share on your social media channels. Uh, thank you very much. See ya.